What's up, everybody? Tabletop. Ooh. Okay, this is my review of the Holy Stone X400. So, um, it's a camera quad. Um, this is a MJX X400, basically. Uh, Holy Stone does a lot of rebranding, repackaging, which I, I am all for. I think it's awesome. Um, get us quads here in the United States that we love or want and uh, uh, make them easy to get and not have to ship from China. I'm all for it. So um, this is the X400. And if you know my channel, you know I did the X300 from Holy Stone. And this one is uh, has the same design, same look, which I love. Uh, crazy race car, spaceship look. Uh, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit different. It actually has um, LEDs on the bottom, um, like most quads. Uh, the X300 had a bunch of blinking lights, blinking and beeping and bleeping. And anyway, um, so that's different and better. And hallelujah, hallelujah. Red in the back, blue in the front. Thank Jesus or whoever. <laughs> I just love when they get it right. And it does have um, some blue eyes, too, I believe. Let's turn it on. Oh, nope, I guess not. Those are fake eye holes. <laughs> but it lights up good. Uh, even this black body at night, um, it, it's a good night flyer. Uh, the LEDs are nice and bright. So let's uh, talk about the bad real quick, like always. Uh, this is an X series. So what do you think is bad, boys and girls? Hmm? Hmm? Give you two guesses. Pitch, yeah. All right, you guys have been paying attention. So, it's an X series, and um, it, it's uh, got a limited pitch and mid rates. Uh, just like all the X series, um, you get three rates, and and high rate is auto flip mode. So you just flip and flip and flip, and it's a pretty unflyable mode. Uh, pretty useless, in my opinion. Um, so you have low and mid rates to actually work with when you're flying and, and mid rates pitch is not great It's not horrible. Uh, this thing moves it fights the wind pretty good. I got to say I had this out on the farm uh, the farm flight with this and uh, It was pretty gusty out there and this thing held its own. So um, Even though it's limited pitch. It's it's not bad for wind um, yaw ah X series, uh, Holy Stone, MJX, whoever. Bump up the yaw. Come on. Holy crap. Give us something to work with if you're going to limit the pitch so much. And I know it's a camera quad. It's built for flying, steady, and filming, and blah, 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 blah. But uh, give us a faster yaw, guys. Come on. Um, that's ridiculous. The, all the X series have that, that one yaw. Come on. Come on now. Um, so. Got it. Uh, anything else bad? Um, uh, this camera's not great. Uh, this is the same camera in all the X series. This is the Wi Fi camera, um, first person view thing. You cannot fly these Wi Fi cameras. None of them. I'm not, I'm not um, bagging on Holy Stone or MJX or, or any of the companies that build these Wi Fi cameras. You just can't fly these in um, real first-person mode because it's Wi-Fi and it has a lag. And even a second or a split-second lag is going to cause you to crash or lose your um, quad. So uh, the only thing these are good for, in my opinion, is to line up your shot or your video. You can look down and be like, okay, that's about where I want it. And I'll hit the button and start recording. That's about it. Um, it, it is Wi-Fi, so it cuts out and lags a bit. Um, even when you're recording... Um, so it's not great. Uh, it's cool to try and, and it's cool to play with and you can get some pretty good shots. The, it, the, the quality is, is okay. You know, I've seen much worse. It's the, the video is pretty bright and you can see it. There's just some lag. So that's not great. Um, but, um, it, it's there, you know. If you're buying, I've said this before, if you're buying one of these toy camera quads um, specifically for the camera and then you get bummed because they're not great, uh, you need to like uh, 
realize that these are toys. <laughs> these are toys, man. This is all toys. The quality is never going to be great in these toy toy cams. Not not now, not yet anyway, but I mean up until, you know, as I'm reviewing this, n no toy quad cam is great. Some of them are decent and okay, but um don't you shouldn't buy one of these toys um, specifically because you think you're going to get great footage. You know, you'll just always be disappointed. Um, so it, it does come with this holder, so you can put your phone in it and um, uh, do the first person view. This is the transmitter. It's pretty nice. It's got a throttle trim uh, dial. Don't know why, but it does. Uh, it has the rates down here. Um, and then you can switch um, to mode two. You can switch and put your throttle over here if you want. Um, these are pretty nice transmitters. This is the front flip button and camera when you have the normal camera. And then this is um, headless and return to home, um, this button. And it, they actually work pretty good. Um, you know, I, I'm surprised. The X-Series, the headless and the return to home always seem to work uh, fairly well for a toy. You know, they don't have GPS in them. So they're, you know, they're, they're not going to work perfect. But it works pretty, pretty well. Um, it, it comes with a whole bunch of stuff. You get uh, landing feet and um, prop guard things. Um, I call them air brakes because that's what they do. They slow your quad down. But it does come with them. Beginners put them on. You get a full set of spare props. Uh, the camera, USB charging cable, and Holy Stone's famous safety protection eyewear. So, uh, you know, fly safe, guys. Fly safe. Uh, it has a 650, maybe a 750 milliamp hour battery. Um, uh, it's the same bay as like the X600 uh, and, you know, a variety of other X ones. Uh, it's pretty roomy. A 650, 750 can fit in there easy. Uh, with the battery that they gave me, this thing gets great. Great flight times. It reminds me of the X600, you know, that hel that hexacopter. That thing got crazy good flight times for how big it was. Uh, this is just like it, you know. Ten minutes of flight, you know, pretty average. That's, to me, ten minutes of flight is awesome. I mean, that's awesome flight time. So, um, great flight times, really cool look. It, it, it flies nice. It's a nice flyer. It can power through the wind. It's not super, super sporty because of the limited pitch, but um, it, is, it is a nice quad. And uh, beginners, uh, intermediates, if you want, you know, something cool looking, uh, definitely pick this up. You advance flyers, it's going to be a little bit slow. Uh, you might want to change the board in it or something. Put a JJ1000 board in it. This thing would be awesome. <laughs> um, but uh, it, nice quad, super durable, had lots of crashes with it. The dogs haven't even fucking dented this. Excuse my language, sorry about that. The dogs haven't even dented this though, so um, that's a testament because they, they've dented everything else. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, let's take you through some flight footage. I've talked enough about this quad, and um, let's take you through the flight footage and do the normal stuff, and uh, we'll call this a review. What's up, everybody? Um, this is gonna be the flight demo of the Holy Stone X400. No cam footage. Um, I, I've done enough of these 300 series uh, with cam footage. The same camera. Um, it, it's, it, it is what it is. It's a toy camera. The footage is okay. You, you can't really use it in FPV except for to line up shots like I said on the tabletop. This is just going to be flight performance so you can see how it flies. Um, so we're going to start in low rates and uh, we'll, we'll do the two rates. I'm not going to go into auto flip either. Uh, we'll do the two rates, do some flying, and um, we'll call this uh, good. So this is on low or beginner. I think they call it beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So I'm trying to show you the pitch there. Not a lot of pitch. Pretty much the same in all the X series. They have pretty much the same flight characteristics. Uh, there's the yaw. Um, it has one yaw, I believe. Or no, maybe it does change because that looks pretty slow. And I think the 
high is a little bit faster. So there's the pitch and yaw in um, beginner. All right, here's the mid rates. And there's the yaw. So yeah, that's definitely faster. There's the yaw in mid rates. And that's what you're going to be flying it on mostly. Well, it looks like we got an unboxing because I just was informed of a box. So, all right, so there's the yaw in high or mid rates. And here's the pitch. So, mid rates isn't bad. The pitch is all right, uh, could be better. But you know it's not bad. It's not. It's not awful. Like I said, it, fly, it fights the wind real good. So, um, so Pi is auto flip, and I hate it. So there's the flip. It's hard to keep it flying. But looks like the yaw is slightly faster in the high rate too. But if you give full input, it does that. So, take it out of that. All right, so, um, you saw the flip there, and then this button's front flip, just does front flips all day long. <laughs> um, okay, so that toggles on and off the lights there. That's the left shoulder button. I'm not sure which one's headless and I'm not gonna even try it because I don't care <laughs> no offense guys but let's just fly it around now not a bad flyer it's pretty nice doesn't turn super fast uh, the yaw and the pitch just aren't made for fast turns and I have to do some braking turns if you don't have a nice wide open area this one nice flyer though I mean the 300 series are nice flyers for uh, beginners and intermediates you know um, they just they're smooth and you know the transmitters are nice Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna do a big braking turn there kind of got off balance relaxing flyer A little tail whip and the fast turn. It's pretty good funnel, it's a little wide. Whoa. <laughs> nice flight time though, I think we're in LVC. Should bring it back here. Oh, I just toggled off the lights on accident. <laughs> oh no, we are in LVC. Alright, let's get it up anyway. Alright. So that's the review and the flight demo of the Holy Stone X400. Man, it's cool looking in that flat black. I gotta say, the it's a cool looking quad. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys.